China has just created some rules around batteries and fires, which are kind of insane, guys. I, I'm a little bit shocked by what we're seeing here. These new regulations coming out next year in 2026, they're going to have a enormous ramifications on what batteries are being manufactured in, in China. And therefore, considering more than 70% of the world's batteries are made in China, this will affect all of us. This will affect absolutely everyone. This will affect the entire market. Here are these regulations, and here are the impacts that those regulations could potentially have. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Speaking of China, I did just return from China yesterday, and, well, people have this perception that China is the Wild West and to some degree where think anything goes, you can do whatever you want. The truth is actually it's extremely regulated. In many ways, it's even more regulated than the West is, which is really quite a surprise to a, to a lot of people when they get there and they go, oh, I thought everything was just going to be a free-for-all, but it's absolutely not the case at all. And yesterday, China, they revealed some new rules around for self-driving, which means that things that are legal in the West are now illegal in China. Now, I'll get to that in a separate, a separate video. But in addition to that, China have created a no-fire, no-explosion rule. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that China's new rules are the world's strictest on EV battery standards. And ultimately, this might actually lead to these Chinese battery companies in the long run getting even more market share than they have today. Because historically, the batteries that are the most prone to fire at this point in time are actually not even made by Chinese companies. Yes, it's true that for Asus Energy, they, some of their batteries were used in Mercedes-Benz's vehicles, which have had problems, but that's a tiny player in the Chinese battery industry. They have what, about 1% market share, maybe 2%. It's very small. And the problem here is that one of the biggest battery companies in the world, which is not in China, which is LG Chem, have had quite a lot of battery problems. Smoking cars, cars setting fire to themselves, the Jaguar electric car, world car of the year, has had so many, so many battery problems. It uses LG Chem batteries. So what's happening here is Chinese batteries are already becoming safer. They're already putting in these amazing technology to make them extremely unlikely to catch fire even in a car crash. But now they're gonna to have to up their game even more. China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology has announced new mandatory national safety standards for electric vehicle batteries that take effect on the 1st of July, 2026. Car News China reported the updated regulation safety requirements for power batteries of electric vehicles represents the world's first standard requiring batteries to completely prevent fire and explosion even after internal thermal runaway occurs. Now, I don't even know how that's possible. And I do know a little bit about batteries, having done this job, done 7,000 videos in the last four years. This is a really high standard. The most significant change is the new stand, in the new standard is the thermal diffusion test requirement. While the previous standard only required a warning signal five minutes before fire or explosion, the updated regulation mandates that batteries must not catch fire or explode, even during thermal runaway events. Additionally, any smoke generated must not harm vehicle occupants. This standard introduces new tests, including, uh, by the way, guys, before I get to this, I should point out, it is interesting timing after that Xiaomi crash that Xiaomi electric car crashed into a concrete barrier and the people were stuck inside and the car, it basically incinerated people, the people inside the car. It burnt, burnt down to the ground. And then these rules came out a couple of weeks later. Anyhow, so these rules include bottom impact testing to evaluate battery protection capabilities when the underside experiences a collision. I should point out manufacturers, many of them, including Xpeng, which talked about this, they talked about this at their Global EV Day, which was this week, underbody protection is huge. It's becoming a massive part of the industry to make sure nothing can pierce through the bottom of the car and hit the battery. In addition, fast charging cycle safety testing requires batteries to withstand 300 fast charging cycles without fire or explosion during subsequent short circuit tests, which is quite a, it's a difficult test, a short circuit test. 
And you've got to do these 300 fast charging cycles basically at once. Like we're talking about the car gets tested of the, the space for a week and you've got to do 300 fast charging cycles um, without fire explosion during subsequent short circuit tests. So short circuiting the battery. This is quite, a, quite an extreme test. Car News China says this, industry experts believe these stringent requirements will significantly enhance consumer safety while accelerating industry consolidation. Leading manufacturers like CATL claim they have already developed technologies that meet the new standards. And Geely have as well, uh, so, have, so have BYD. CATL states that their first generation no thermal propagation NP technology has been produced since 2020. The new standard will effectively reduce the risk of battery fires after collisions with um, other cars. Better protecting consumers' lives, said a CATL representative, saying that meeting these requirements demands collaboration between automakers and battery manufacturers. So for CATL batteries to meet these requirements, you can't just go and buy some CATL batteries. Obviously, we're talking the biggest battery company in the world. Stick them in your car and it's going to be really safe. It's got to be a collaboration where the manufacturer actually uses the right standards for the housing protecting the batteries, as well as other electronics in the car. The timing of this announcement, like I said, it follows the Xiaomi SU7 vehicle fire. And I don't know if this is actually fair. I actually think it's too stringent. And I'll get to that in a second. Car News China says this, industry experts believe the new national standard of safeguards battery safety through regular, rigorous testing protocols, significantly alleviating public concerns about spontaneous combustion risks in electric cars. While these regulations may increase R&D costs for small and medium-sized enterprises and potentially trigger short-term market consolidation, meaning possibly bankruptcies, and that will happen, no doubt about it, some companies won't be able to make these changes, the industry's long-term benefits are substantial. Enhanced safety performance will ultimately reduce hidden costs related to insurance and maintenance, creating greater value opportunities across the sector. Now, the truth is, I don't think it's going to do what um, people say it's going to do. I don't think it's going to make batteries safer. Well, not most of them anyway. I think 95% of batteries are already safe. I'm talking about batteries made in China because most batteries made in China are made by who? Well, they're made by CATL and BYD and emerging companies now like Geely with their golden brick battery. All of those batteries are extremely safe. I don't think any changes would even need to be made to hit those regulations. What this does is it, it essentially penalizes the smaller battery companies who will have to make changes and probably won't be able to. I mean, the kind of changes needed would probably be too expensive and could bankrupt them. And that's probably what China wants to happen. They want consolidation. I think there's too many companies in the EV segment. There's too many EV manufacturers. There's too many car brands in China. Uh, there's too many, too many battery makers in China. And the weak ones need to be filtered out. Now, of course, this may not be the case. Maybe China is really just trying to make batteries safer. But the truth is this. Statistically, it doesn't really make sense. EV battery fires are so incredibly rare they are at least 100 times less likely than a fire in an internal combustion engine car. Uh, some, some countries say it's closer to 200 times less likely. The truth is that electric car batteries have improved so immensely over the last five years that I think these regulations don't really make any significant difference. In some cases, you might be driving a car at 200 kilometers an hour and you're going to die no matter what, whether the car catches fire or it doesn't. All right, an internal combustion car is going to kill you. An EV, you're going to die. Death is pretty much certain. But really, the truth is battery fires are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly rare. And that means EVs are much safer than internal combustion cars and much safer than hybrid vehicles. But all of that said, maybe these regulations will be a win. I'm not really sure how it's all going to play out. It's going to be very interesting to see. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments.